So the trans community, we deal with discrimination on so many different levels. And when it comes to employment, that is no exception. A lot of companies just don't want to hire us because we're trans. It's getting better. We still have a long way to go. But I remember the days where it was really hard. And when I think about me maneuvering in corporate America, as I became more physically trans, you know, because we were trans inside first before it, it happens on the outside, the discrimination got worse. And just being able to maneuver in the workforce became extremely hard for me. It was just, it was really, really tough. So there was a company I worked for called PRC, Precision Response Corporation. It was a call center. I think they still exist. It is a call center. And I worked on the American Express account. So the first day of class, because it was a six-week training for Amex, uh, but it was paid training, so I show up to class, everything's going smoothly on my break. I went to the ladies' room to tinkle. Uh, the day was just fabulous. I get home and I'm like, thank you, God. Oh, everything's going smooth. Next day, I get to training. I'm sitting in class and the teacher comes to the door and he calls me out of the classroom. He says, they want to see you in person now. So basically, they tell me that I am not allowed to use the ladies' room because I would offend the women at work. And they didn't want me to use the men's room. Well, I didn't want to use the men's room either for my safety. So they assigned me to a bathroom in the human resources department, a unisex bathroom. But the thing is human resources closed at five o'clock and my shift was later in the day uh, into the evening. So I would only have like a couple hours that I had access to the bathroom that I was assigned to. Not only that, this building was bigger than a football field. Okay. And I worked on one side and the bathroom I had to use was all the way on the other side. So many days I sat at my desk, just holding my urine with my bladder about to bust. Uh, but, you know, there were some days that I just couldn't hold it, and I would take that walk all the way across the football field, and my supervisor would dock me my time. Meanwhile, my other coworkers could just walk across the hall to the bathroom. Do you see the sabotage there? Do you see that? But you know what? I stayed, I proved myself, and I even moved up. Thank you very much.